So in this video, I'm going to talk about the new Copa America event that we're going to be getting very, very soon in FC Mobile. When we're getting that, when it's going to be the live stream and everything like that. But also, I'm going to talk about what you need to do in the Euro event and the mistake that a lot of you are actually making that you should definitely avoid and what you need to do right now. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. So first of all, if you go into the messages section and into a new section, you can see not team of the season, but... Uh, we're gonna be getting a new Copa America Path to Glory chat event right there. Live FC Mobile episode 40. So we're gonna be getting a live stream about that. Mark your calendar for June 18th, 19th UTC um, and join us for the next FC Mobile live. Don't miss our uh, our special comable Copa America USA 2024 live stream watch to receive a free reward. So we are gonna be getting a free reward as well, but uh, basically uh, th that's gonna be a redeem code, but basically we are gonna be getting a uh, Copa America event as well. So make sure you go ahead and watch that stream uh, to go and know everything about it. If you want to know what we're actually getting in the Copa America event, these are a couple of things. So as Safford stated before, we are we are gonna get a Copa America event on 20th of June. On 18th of June, we are gonna be getting a live stream, um, and then there is gonna be a new. Uh, there is gonna be an episode for it. We know already about it on June 18th, 19th UTC. It has been confirmed by EA themselves on FC Mobile and on Twitter, of course, as well. Uh, there is gonna be a new mystery signings a UI a UI theme. There is not only gonna be, but it already is here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go and check that one out as well. We're we're gonna be getting same 90 overalls, which is a little bit annoying, but I guess you can't really do much about it. Copa America is side event with mini star pass. Saprit has confirmed with that one as well, as you can see. Um, and we're gonna be getting a captain company, um, a captain company chapter in the heroes, uh, heroes event on June 20th as well. So we're gonna be able to get a new heroes player or a Mashrano card if you want to get a Mashrano card instead. Also, someone has asked, as you can see, uh, if there are going to be any of the Copa America exchanges and Saprit has um, answered with no info. It has very little info, uh, even mini star pass 16 nations based in star player. So we don't actually know if we're going to be getting exchanges for that event, but we'll get to know pretty much everything about that event uh, tomorrow at reset time. Uh, 90 to 94 world exchange and 97 to 99 world exchange in Euro. We don't know about that one either because Saprit has replied with no update may be suspended which is very very sad of course but if you go back to our FC mobile game right now you can see we've got new theme for mystery signings already i'm pretty sure it's still gonna be same rewards very very similar to what it was but uh and we're gonna be getting 90 overall rewards as well as this every three weeks right we're gonna be able to get two 91 overall mushrooms every single three weeks but it's a little bit interesting it's a, it's a bit different i guess we can go ahead and show a sign and I guess still get same rewards as before, right? We're getting these rewards for uh, getting overall and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna get 90 overall um, right back as one of the players. Not really sure which of them are gonna be Mr. Sanix, but there's st there's still 90 overall. So no one really cares about those Mr. Sanix players, right? We're just claiming them to get um, a free uh, to get some free 91 overall mushrooms. I think a lot of people are uh, are doing that because of uh, because of that reason. Let me go and claim my extra time gift now as well. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about what you need to do uh, right now. Right, 70 to 95 overall player pack, and we packed a 79. So nothing good. We've got uh, Frankowski right there. Let's continue and let's go back. So if you go into the UEFA Europa, uh, UEFA Euro 2024 event right now, you can see we've got this chapter right. We've got this where you can go ahead and get, uh, where you can go ahead and spend your journey points. What I would suggest you to do is if you went ahead and completed this whole rewards box, um, I would definitely suggest you to go ahead and just grind your journey points. A lot of people are making this mistake where they are opening these packs right there. Do not open any of these packs. These packs are definitely not worth it. You're only getting 80 plus overall cards. So most likely 80 to like 85 overall cards. So don't open any of them because if you go on and check it out right there, uh, this is just week one reward box rewards. We're going to get week two, week three, week four, week five and week six. Make sure you go ahead and save your journey points because it's going to be very, very 
useful for you. For example, when we go out and get weak two rewards straight away, when we get when we get that week, those weak two rewards, if you get like sixteen rewards in that reward uh, week two rewards once again, as we had with the first one, right? We've got sixteen right there. Uh, if you go out and you get sixteen once again, you're gonna be able to claim all the rewards straight away when we get to week two. Uh, and I would suggest you to go ahead and just grind your journey points, grind as many of them as possible because you will need them for the future weeks. Don't, as I said, don't spend any of them in this uh, in this pack right there. If you want to go ahead and spend some of them, maybe just go ahead and get guaranteed 94 um, overall Havertz card, for example, or uh, maybe you can go ahead and get some other cards. I will definitely go with Havertz because he has played the match already and he has scored in that match. So I think he's definitely got a very, very good chance to get higher overall. I'm not claiming, claiming him right now. Might go ahead and claim him a little bit later on, but make sure you don't spend any of your you know, journey points if you have already complete this rewards box make sure you com complete this reward box first but if you have completed it don't spend any of them um, and just make sure you grind as much as possible go ahead and play this warm-up uh, my uh, warm-up skill games as well as this match now uh, make sure you go ahead and watch and add um, in this no in this chapter as well uh, to go and watch some ads to go on and get some more journey points in euro intro section as well you're gonna be able to complete some of the milestones to get even more journey points and make sure you go ahead and play a uh, Euro tournament as well because you're gonna be getting quite a few um, quite a few um, journey points this way as well as that it's gonna refresh very very soon if you go ahead and take a look at it we can't take a look at it there but it's gonna refresh very very soon I already played it once as you can see in legendary mode what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be playing it uh, in the world class mode just to get that for some reward uh, 480 points as well as I'm gonna be playing in uh, the professional level just to go ahead and get that first time reward 120 points once again because i already played in legendary mode and if i go on and play in legendary mode again i'm only going to be getting 150 points 24 hours it is going to refresh once again so what we can do is we can go we need to go ahead i think in 24 hours it's going to refresh right it might be a little bit later on what we need to do is uh we need to go ahead and play this three times because we only got three free entries yep yeah, it is going to be refreshing in uh 19 20 hours so pretty much uh tomorrow is going to be refreshing so make sure you go ahead and play this three times max uh and and in 20 hours it's gonna refresh and you're gonna be able to play three more times uh, later on um, so yeah that's pretty much what you need to do in this chapter as well but other than that team of the season chapter if you haven't uh, if you haven't claimed your ultimate team of the season player yet make sure you do your quest uh, watch the ad every day as well as get your reward to go ahead and get your free ultimate team of the season player I've already opened this 98 to 99 overall ultimate team of the season player pack and I packed, who did I pack? I actually forgot. I haven't updated my team even. I did pack some very, very high overall cards. Oh, we've got, we've got 98 overall frame punk. Yep, I do remember that. Let me go ahead and put him instead of that frame punk, even though the other one is trained up and ranked up. Uh, we've got this um, Ferguson as well. We've got Phil Foden. I've got quite a lot of high overall cards. As you can see right there, 97s. I've got so many 97s, 96s, which don't really matter too much at this point right 97 overall and 98 over i mean 98 overalls and 97s are one of the highest overalls 99s are the highest overall so 98 and 99 97s are one of the highest overalls but um they they still don't really i feel like they don't really matter too much because we're, we're gonna get higher overall cards I, i'm not sure why but we're getting a lot of 97s and 98s right when 99s are the highest overall cards and they don't really feel that special, but I guess they are quite special. I guess they are very, very special indeed.